multiply. This is going to be much easier with improper fractions. So 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. So this becomes 15 over 2, and that's multiplying 2 thirds. We can cross cancel here quite easily. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is 5. And now on top we have 5 times 1, and on bottom we have 1 times 1. We have 5 over 1, or just 5. 5 divided by 1 is 5, so. That will be our final answer. Seven eighths of four and one fourteenth. Again, um, improper fractions are going to be the way to go here. So we get seven eighths of, I shouldn't say equals, it's not really good. Seven eighths of 14 times four is 20 times two is 50. And then plus one is 57. Let me make sure of that. Yep. Okay. If you have seven eighths of another fraction, really all that is is seven eighths times the other fraction. And all we have to do is reduce. Seven divided by seven is one. 14 divided by seven is, is uh, two, not one. 57 times 1 is 57, and 8 times 2 is 16. Reading the um, blue type here, we have type a whole number, proper fraction, or mixed number. This is an improper fraction. We need to make it into a mixed number. How many times can 16 go into 57? It can go in there three times evenly. 3 times 16 is 48. So 57 minus 48 is um, 2 on 7 is, is 9 over 16. Give me 3 and 9 sixteenths. Good. Jingles are laid so that five inch or five twelfths, five inches is five twelfths of a foot are exposed in each layer. How many feet of roof will be covered by 28 courses? So if five twelfths of a foot are exposed in each layer, how many feet of roof will be covered by 28 courses? So this is going to be five twelfths per each course. And there's 28 courses, so we just take 5 twelfths times 28 courses. I'm going to write this as 28 over 1. And we can reduce. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 28 divided by 4 is 7. Now we have 5 times 7 on top and 3 times 1 on bottom. That doesn't give us 12. That gives us uh, 30, 35 over 3. And it wants an integer, a fraction, which this is technically a fraction, but um, yeah, we can test to see if it, it uh, accepts that. Typically, we have to give it, yeah, it wants a mixed number. It, sh it should have said proper fraction here, but it didn't. So we need to make sure this is a mixed number. How many times can 3 go into 35? It can go in there. Uh, 3 times 11 is 33. So 11 times. Um, 35 minus 33 is 2, so 11 and 2 thirds. Eleven and 2 thirds, oops. And that's correct. It's the same answer, but it's more kind of readable, so that, that's why they wanted it that way. What length of 2 by 4 required to make 12 benches? where each leg is 14 and 1 eighth inch long. We have 12 benches, and each one is 14 and 1 eighth inch long. So we just need to multiply these two things together. I'm going to write this over 1, and I'm going to change this to an uh, improper fraction. 
12 or 1 times 18 times, or 8 times 14 is 112, plus 1 is 118. Divide by 4. Now we get 3 times 113 over 1 times 2. All right. 3 times 113 is 339 over 2. Um, this one's going to be easy to do uh, by doing 339 divided by 2 gives us 169.5, which means we have 169. And well, since there's only two there, <laughs> the only thing this can be is one. It has to be one over two. If it were two over two, that, that would be an improper fraction. If it were five over two, then we, we'd be doing it wrong in, in, in normally. So whenever you have two, you know that you have to have one on the numerator. Because because we use this this method of calculating the mixed number, hopefully that makes sense. One six nine. I should use the 